Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, the incidence of diabetes was reported to be 382 million people worldwide as of 2013, and the numbers have continued to escalate. Now, being overweight as well as insufficient physical activity are two main drivers that have dramatically increased the incidence of this condition in the past few decades. In the meantime, researchers uh, have been aggressively looking for natural solutions that can help to reduce high blood sugar or glucose levels, as well as other parameters related to diabetes and prediabetes. Is poorly controlled blood sugar and, re and related factors significantly increases the risk of heart attack and other vascular complications leading to gangrene and amputations, as well as many types of cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and the risk of more virulent, life-threatening infections. In other words, poorly controlled diabetes often leads to a shorter lifespan and a great deal of suffering and disability from the complications related to this condition. Now, one of the natural agents that's been shown to help reduce high blood sugar is the spice known as ginger. Ginger contains a number of active constituents shown to improve the ability of our cells to extract sugar from the bloodstream and use it as a source of fuel. As a result, some impressive studies have shown that ginger supplementation can significantly lower blood glucose levels or blood sugar levels in many diabetic and pre-diabetic patients. As an example, a 2017 study published in the International Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism showed that providing type 2 diabetic patients with 2,000 milligrams of a ginger supplement daily for just 10 weeks lowered their blood sugar level by 38 milligrams per deciliter, which is a very significant reduction. These patients also saw improvement in their LDL to HDL ratio, which also helps to reduce risk of heart and vascular disease. Now, a 2024 meta-analysis, which a meta-analysis examines all the studies that have been done to date. Uh, they examined the efficacy of various herbs and spices on diabetes management. This was published in the journal Nutrients, and it showed that when you look at all the available studies, ginger supplementation is shown to significantly decrease not only blood sugar or blood glucose levels, but also insulin levels and hemoglobin A1C levels in type 2 diabetics. Now, hemoglobin A1C is a blood test which looks at the long-term blood sugar regulation, like it looks at a four-month uh, you know, lifespan of your blood sugar. And it's a very strong predictor of future complications and premature death from diabetes. So lowering the hemoglobin A1C with ginger supplementation is a very important finding, as you can appreciate. This meta-analysis also suggested that other herbs and spices can be beneficial in helping to reduce high blood sugar in type 2 diabetics, such as cinnamon, black cumin, turmeric, and curcumin, which is found in turmeric, as well as saffron. But only ginger reduced all three important diabetic markers. It lowered glucose, it lowered insulin, and it lowered hemoglobin A1C. I think that many type 2 diabetics and pre-diabetic patients should consider a ginger supplement of 2,000 milligrams per day as part of their regimen to help improve their condition and reduce risk of diabetic complications. Remember that ginger is also shown to reduce joint inflammatory conditions in human studies, and it halts the growth of various cancers in experimental studies using human cancer cell lines. For prevention reasons, I take a supplement each day that contains ginger, curcumin, white willow bark extract, and boswellia. Each of these natural ingredients helps to prevent age-related inflammation, and they block key steps that have been shown to be important in cancer development. The presence of ginger and curcumin in a supplement like this also helps to keep blood sugar down and may help to better regulate hemoglobin A1C. So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching.